Amazon came up with new reports, specifically reports for sponsored brand campaigns. And in this video, I'll show you how to get those reports, what kind of insights you can get while looking at the Excel file sheets. What's up guys, this is Tomer from sourcingmonster.com and welcome to another video. And if it's your first time here and you want to learn more on how you can create your own brand, selling private label products on Amazon, which you can sell also on other marketplaces like Etsy, eBay, Walmart, using the same inventory that you have on Amazon and create this scalable income from anywhere in the world, then subscribe to the channel and click the bell. So for every new video that I upload and release, you can get notified and keep yourself up to date. Okay, so Amazon released those uh, type of reports recently by uh, I think in November and or end of September. Um, and it's a little different than what you can see in the interface, which I'll show you in a moment. And these kind of reports are good to perform every uh, I would say like every month, it's not a report or something that you have to do every day, like optimizing and changing bids, uh, uh, you know, optimizing the campaigns, adding negatives, changing budgets, some of the daily routines that you should do like every, like, you know, other day. Uh, this kind of work uh, on your PPC campaigns is something that you need to do once in a while because it's like more, more broad picture on what's going on with sponsored brand campaigns and let's start let me show you so first you go to campaign manager right and when you go to a, the, uh, a specific campaign a brand a sponsored brand campaign you can go and see the search terms which is also something new uh, but it, it's the columns and the data that you can see is limited that's why we want to go to reports so reports and generate a new uh, report okay so I'll go and create this report choose sponsored brands and you can choose the keyword or the campaign or the search term I will show three type of campaigns I will show you here the search term impression share the category benchmark and then the uh, the campaign placement yes these three reports okay so sponsored brands category campaigns placement and sponsored search term impression share okay so you have to choose the, the the type of campaign the report type and the report period I like always to do 65 days or whatever it's allowing me uh, but for the sake of this video I just choose 30 days you're going to run the report and then you'll get it to this page you'll have to wait like a minute or two depends on how much data it's pulling and it's generating and then you will have the button like the download button here uh, so you can download it. Oh, I already downloaded the report and this is the report for just one moment. Okay, so this is the report for the search term impression share. What is this report? What we can get from this report? That's basically telling us, if you see this column, the search term impression share is that how much time we showed our ad was showing to customers from the total number of searches I would say so let's say someone is searching for her brush okay not just someone like the entire day today December 14th 2020 let's pretend that hundred people searched for her brush this day okay then if your uh, search term impression rate for that keyword for that search term is 66 percent that means that out of hundred searches your ad was showing to people 66 times. So for me, 66, it's pretty high rate, you know? Uh, but if I see, for example, that it's 4%, that means that I have a lot uh, uh, of room, maybe by increasing the budget, maybe by creating an ad that is more relevant to increase my search, like my impression share, which means that I could get more clicks, more, traffic more exposure to my brand to my campaign to, to my product so that's something that is super important to understand uh, but if you are like on 81 or 80 or 70 66 this is pretty good I wouldn't really 
uh, spend much time doing that. But if we want to optimize it and really see what's uh, going on here, let me just make this window a little bigger. Okay. Then what we'll do is we'll go to, um, where is it? We'll go to data here, then filter, and then we'll, hold on. we'll filter or sort it by clicks from high to low. Why? Because <clears throat> here you, we have a lot of opportunity for a search term or an item that got one or two clicks for the last 65 or 30 days doesn't really worth the efforts that for us, you know? So I will do it and optimize it for keywords that have at least 30 clicks. But as you can see, all these search terms that got me 30 clicks or more, I already have a big search term impression share. Uh, but maybe if I go to that keyword, got 21 clicks, but I only got 12%, that means that I could get, if I have 80%, like seven times more clicks, 140 clicks. So this is a keyword that I uh, will want to optimize. Take this uh, keyword and optimize. I will basically increase the bid so I can be always on top of search, you know? So that's a good point to look at. Now, search term impression rank. So search term impression rank, that's what I assume Amazon gives uh, to that search term, to the keyword. Uh, they don't really share enough info about that, but what I think that it's like, like quality score on uh, Google Ads if you have some experience with uh, advertisement. So quality score basically means that, you know, how well your uh, score is for that specific term against the competitors or against relevancy that Amazon thinks that you have uh, correlation between the, the, the keyword to the product that you are selling. Uh, so as far as what I see, the lower the number is, the higher the rank. So one would be the number like the best and maybe uh, 10 would be like uh, not that good, you know. Uh, so here, here, for example, we see that for the 81% impression share, we got one. And for those that we have like low impression rate, like 18, 12, 14, it's getting, the number is getting higher. So I assume that the lower the rank is, the better you have. So that means that those that are six or three or four or higher than one, those are opportunities for you to work on and improve, okay? Let's move on to the next report, which is the Sponsored Brands Campaign Placement Report. So to this point, I don't really... Uh, I, I don't think that there is a way to control sponsored brand campaigns, the placements or the bid multiple, the multiple like you have in uh, regular uh, search campaigns or product uh, targeting campaigns. You could put top of search, you can put like 100% increase in bid, so you will always show it there, for example. But for sponsored brands, you can't do that yet. Uh, so. Uh, I don't really see what is the benefit for me having this data if you cannot really control it. Uh, but it's good to know, you know, like for example, as you can see here, the conversions are really good. Here, very bad. So here, it's a little better. Uh, but yeah, this is just another report. Um, then the last report is the category placement. Also, I'm not sure, maybe you can tell me how you use this report, but just giving me the breakdown on where my ads were showing as far as category, which is good to know, but doesn't really give me any uh, actionable data to work with and optimize it more than well, you know than than what I have right now. Um, like, what's the difference for me between this category and this category? Actually, when I think about it, uh, if I I'm able to uh, target a specific category and I see that within a specific category, this is actually a good report, within a specific category, I have better A cost, then maybe, yeah, maybe I can move that uh, and target those category more aggressively. Actually, yeah, it's, it's, a good, it's a good point. So yeah, this is a very useful report because you can take the best categories like this one, for example, that got you 12% and optimize it uh more aggressively bid much higher than what you bid normally okay so 
it's not a big video but it's a small hack small not really hack small addition to the reports that you can get to what you already have and again it's those small things that you add up that really change the big picture so don't really underestimate every new thing that amazon is uh, you know providing at the other end don't just say oh they released this this is like the best thing ever you just have to really take this and use it as another tool to your toolbox to improve ppc and keep yourself ahead of your competitors so hope you got value from this video please like this video it will help me promote the channel please subscribe to the channel if you didn't subscribe and i'll see you in the next video thank you for watching